K Rock Sliders. This is a follow-up video to the Pyro Putty test that I did last week. Last week I only had access to the Summer Blend and it's rated from 20 to about 100 degrees and as you saw in that video I was able to get it to go no problem even at the lower limit. In fact I think I was in the upper teens when I did that. But they went ahead and they sent me the Winter Blend. It's rated from zero to 70 degrees. So that's probably much more applicable to, to hunters. So today's test is gonna be twofold. Um, I'll, I'll get the winter blend going too, but we had a lot of questions on whether we can start these with a, uh, a piece of steel, like a, a ferro rod. And so, and how, how did it compare to the good old fashioned trioxane? That stuff's getting a little bit harder to get, but you know, that's what a lot of us use. Um, so I've got some tri trioxane here, and I'll show you with this little piece of steel that I have. And it's going there. You can't see the flame, but yeah, it's going. So that's how trioxane performs with a piece of steel. We'll kick that over into the fire there, get this all cleaned off. Now let's go to the winter blend. The trick on, on this is getting it pulled apart so you can expose as much fiber as possible, okay? Now I've already done this test prior to turning the camera on. And the winter blend will light. It's not as easy as the trioxane, but it'll, it'll go. And there we go. So you can see it didn't, didn't take the spark quite as well as the trioxane. Okay, we'll flip that into the fire there. You can see that's gonna not have any problem going. And to be fair, there is a little bit more of the pyro putty than the trioxane. That's why you're seeing that big flame. But um, as if you've used trioxane, you know it doesn't really make a big flame like that anyways. It's more of a hot flame. Okay, this is the summer blend, and I tested this prior to, to running this video, and I, I got it to light with the striker rod, but it was harder than the winter blend, and I'm just trying to pull apart as much of the fibers as I can here. Not easy to get them exposed. In my earlier video, I said that I thought that the pyro putty was more sticky than it was greasy. With the winter blend, I do notice there's a, a, a more of a greasy feel to it. And somewhat in the summer blend, but more in the winter blend. Okay, I think I have enough fibers there. Not the best piece of steel. There we go. I'm on, baby. Oh, I actually got it. So, all right, on that test, it lit pretty much equally with the winter blend. But in my earlier test, it was harder to get the summer blend going. And either one would work, but I think for hunters, your winter blend, your, 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 your blue logo, is going to be a better choice because of that rating of zero to 70 degrees. That's going to be most of, of what we hunt in. So that's what I would go for. And um, had a lot of questions about how does it compare to the cotton balls and the Vaseline. All, all that stuff works. That stuff's all fine. I wouldn't try to talk you out of it. It's just nice to be able to buy something. It's very, it, it's very inexpensive. Shipping is almost more than the pyro putty. But it's nice to just to be able to buy something, have it on hand. You can see right there that. Now that was a pretty big chunk, but it's burning. I could get a whole big fire going now. Okay, you can see we're almost up to survival fire size here. Um, I did want to clarify what I'm using for a striker. That's just something that my sister-in-law gave me for Christmas. It's supposed to be filled with lighter fluid, and then it's got the piece of steel on it. There's no lighter fluid in it. I didn't use anything for that test. It's been dry for months. Um, at the early part of the test, you might have saw that flame up right there. That's just those strings catching on fire. But it was just using it as a piece of steel. The, the, 
the, the dedicated pieces of steel that I've seen before, the actual ferro rods, they actually throw more spark than that. So you might even have better luck than what I use, but that's all I have. I don't, I don't use ferro rods much. So um, I own lighters and, and, and to sum all this up, what I would do if I was packing the pyro putty, I think you should always have two ignition sources anyways. So I would use the, um, a ferro rod as a backup and then a Bic lighter to uh, light uh, my, my, my first ignition and you'll see that lights the pyro putty fantastically. So anyways, hope that answers all your questions.